Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Morrison and today I am going to be answering your questions on parrot enrichment. Just to let you know that towards the end of today's video I am going to be showing you a series of pictures which are going to give you some amazing ideas on how to enrich your bird's environment as well as a list of safe flowers and plants and a list of safe DIY toys you can make for your birds. So keep watching. Before we get into our first question, what is parrot enrichment. What does it mean? It certainly does not mean what my husband thinks it means. Yep, I was gone for five minutes and that is what I came home to. But anyhow, that's another story for a different day. What is parrot enrichment? So parrot enrichment is making your bird's environment as natural as, as, natural as you possibly can to make it reflect in what birds would find in the wild. So that is what parrot enrichment is. So let's get into our very first question. And our very first question today is, I keep hearing that it is important for parrots to forage. Do you have any foraging ideas? What is foraging? Foraging is not having food in one stationary location. That is what foraging is. When a bird is in the wild, they will spend a majority of their day searching for food, whether they search on the ground or whether they're searching in trees. They're going to spend a huge portion of their day looking for food and water sources. So of course, this is going to keep them entertained, it's going to keep them busy, etc. And that is exactly what we're wanting to try and achieve for our birds in captivity as well. So it is really important to provide as many foraging opportunities we can for our birds in captivity. So I'll read off a list I've got here and the list will appear on the screen as well of some foraging ideas that you can try with your bird. So this can be achieved by hiding food in paper wrappers, cardboard boxes, foraging toys, hanging food, spreading food on the bottom of the cage, providing you have got a clean bottom of the cage, so make sure that you change your cage liner daily. Placing different foods in various cups around the cage. So you'll see in a cage, you'll have loads of those little windows in a cage. So even if you put just um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, maybe some veggies, um, some seeds and pellets, some fresh fruit, you know, just dotted around the cage, that is going to give the birds some great foraging opportunities instead of just going to one stationary location every single time they're wanting to eat. Threading food through the cage bars, um, things like broccoli, for example, is fantastic to be able to thread through the cage bars. Cracking open seeds, pods, nuts, that's really important for larger parrots, especially smaller parrots may need a little bit of help breaking open those. And feeding them safe grasses, flowers and plants. Brings me to our second question. Have you got any ideas on safe DIY toys I can give my birds to play with? I'm quite low on cash at, at this time, but still want to stay, but still want them to stay entertained. And how do I know a toy is safe? Okay, I'm going to firstly answer the second part of the question. How do you know a toy is safe? Well, personally, when I buy a toy for my birds, I think of two things. One, is it safe for them? To play with and two how is it going to enrich my birds okay so when i talk about is it safe for my birds to play with i think is it made of any types of heavy metals has it got safe dyes is it made with safe dyes has it got any small little bits on it that my bird's going to choke to death on 
is there anything on there like scraggly pieces of rope or anything that's going to impact my bird's crop? And of course, is it um, size appropriate for my bird? And secondly, will this toy enrich my bird's life? And I think of that as in, is it going to wear down my bird's beak? Is it going to entertain my bird and for how long? Is it going to wear down my bird's nails? Is, it going, is he going to be able to shred it? Is he going to be able to chew it? Is he going to be able to do something with the toy? Because often you will find there are quite a few toys out there which just sit in the cage because there's absolutely nothing that the bird can do with that particular toy, especially if it's made of plastic. A bird can't shred plastic. They can't chew on plastic. Well, I suppose they can, but it's not very good. Um, and, you know, what, what do they do with a plastic toy? It kind of like just sits there where they kind of bang it on the bars or whatever. So, okay, so I have put together um, a list of safe DIY toy ideas for you guys so you can read along if you like I'll put the picture on the screen right now so a big buttons and beads brown paper lunch bags unwaxed they have to be unwaxed cardboard boxes coffee filters dried corn husks ensure they are parasite and mold free that is very important egg cartons, grapevine wreaths and willow wreaths. You can attach many toys and treats to these for hours on, of fun. Ensure these are unvarnished. Paper plates, paper straws, phone boxes, phone books, I apologize, phone books, pine cones. These have to be correctly, um, correctly cleaned if they are picked um, by yourselves. Plastic balls for cats, ensure they are catnip free, because of course catnip is highly toxic to birds. Plastic or stainless steel, me steel measuring spoons. Plastic soda pop tops. Popsicle sticks, in ensure that these are made for your food use only. Q-tips or cotton buds. Safe woods, seagrass mats and baskets. Okay, so it comes to our third Question. It seems like my bird does not know how to play with toys. How can I teach him? Unfortunately, some birds just have never been taught how to play with toys. So you do have to teach them as if you were teaching a toddler. So you would take a toy, you would hold the toy, you would kiss on the toy, you would show your bird what the toy is and how it works so you would have to really teach your bird how to use toys um, what also helps is to ensure that the toy again is suitable for the parrot species it's not too big it is not too small ensure that it's not too brightly colored because some birds can be very afraid of really bright colors make sure that the the toy isn't um, made of plastic. I'm sorry, but I hate plastic toys because a bird can never do anything with them. But make sure that they are um, enriching for your birds. So. Right guys, we are halfway through. So if you ha have been enjoying this video, please give us a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, the little, don't forget to knock that little notification bell for um, notifications for all the upcoming videos so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, just to let you know that today, if you have subscribed to my channel, I will put my email address in the description box below. Send us an email, let me know that you have subscribed and as a big thank you, I'll be sending you a free PDF document that I have written on parrot enrichment, which will include the lists that I have shown you guys today. As promised, I am going to be showing you a series of pictures which are going to give you some amazing ideas on how to enrich your Paris environment. These pictures have been um, shared with me by a lady called Anita Scott. She is a wonderful, wonderful lady and she's a member in my parrot group and she does the most incredible DIY enrichment ideas with her bird. At the end of the slideshow, I am going to be giving you a list of safe 
plants and flowers which you can enrich your bird's environment with but because they are plants and flowers I have to quickly read you a disclaimer so my disclaimer is in the list below are some flowers and plants which are reportedly safe for parrots to have in their cages and aviaries flowers should not be used as part of your bird's daily diet they are there for entertainment um, entertainment and enrichment only if in doubt please consult with your avian veterinarian only ever feed flowers which are marked safe for human consumption or that you have grown yourself at home which are 100% pesticide free so that is just a little disclaimer guys that I have to read to you before I give you that flower and plant list of course you will see the disclaimer as well on the list itself when I show it in the slides anyway let's get back to our slideshow Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed that slideshow and thank you again Anita for sharing some of your amazing ideas with us so guys please give us a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to send us that email if you have subscribed for your free PDF document on parrot enrichment and I'll see you again next week